And last night I lied on there and I think of that. It hurts very, very much. A despondent Angelina Williams celebrated her 84th birthday on Easter Sunday, March 23rd. The same day her home for 58 years was reduced to rubble. She concedes she was given advance notice of the impending demolition and was in the process of moving to a new apartment designated by the authorities. However, Miss Williams and her daughter Patricia are unhappy with the treatment they received at the hands of people responsible for tearing down the structure. They came on us. They gave us the key for the place. Good Friday at 12.30. I was in the kitchen cooking. 12.30 and tell us that we have to leave. The 84-year-old was the first tenant in block here of the CDC housing apartments in the 1950s. Angelina Williams says she was informed the building was unsafe and earmarked for demolition and the process would begin in August of 2007. Miss Williams says she packed her belongings last August and awaited her transfer to a new residence. She says she lived out of a suitcase while the authorities sought alternative housing arrangements. When I want a dress to go out or, or to go to church, I have to search for a dress to put on because everything is packed. Friends lent a helping hand, but Williams claimed the process of moving out was made more difficult when the power to the apartment was cut off. The same night they cut the lights, we couldn't see to, to, to draw things again. When the friends left home at 9 o'clock, because they couldn't see, they went and they said they would come back 6 o'clock in the morning. I have you. 6 o'clock in the morning, we had to get up and for us to start carrying again. Patricia Williams says the situation could have been handled better. I, I came to the new apartment to try and th bring in things. And my mother, 84 years, inside of the old apartment and they're breaking down the roof on her. When I went there, the lady was in a state crying. If, uh, and, and these fellows have no conscience, the way they were breaking down the roof. The Williams say although they have fond memories of their old apartment, they were ready to move on, given the deteriorating condition of the building. However, they allege the demolition crew in their determination to level the structure was insensitive to the plight of the elderly residents.